What is going on guys, Stribbers here, and welcome to episode 23 of PGR2 Road to Platinum. So, we've nearly completed the American Muscle Series, and we've just got one more race to do, a street race, and then we will unlock a new series, and do the first three races in that. So, final race in American Muscle, going to be using the Corvette. And this is five laps of a pretty long track in Chicago. Um, so this is actually quite a long race, this one. And um, there's eight cars in this. It's at night, so let's go. So it starts off on a little bit of a straight, uh, going into a swooping right-hand corner, so we were able to get past a couple cars off the bat. And then weaving in and out of cars to try and avoid their path leaving us onto another straight so we can use the acceleration of the Stingray to get past most of these cars cutting on the inside of that Mustang leaving us just the um, Corvette Stingray in first to catch up so that's not too bad second place um, quite early on in the race and uh, yeah this is a big track um, there's plenty of straights in this this is the biggest one coming up this is quite a hard corner to take actually you really, going over that bridge, need to go as wide as you can to um, cut in right and then carry as much speed through as you can. As you can see, I was getting caught up a little bit there um, as the Stingray is 2.2 seconds ahead of us now. But then you've got to slam on the brakes for this bit as we have a very tight left-hander that we need to um, pull into there. But we get, uh, gained a little bit of time back on the Corvette there. Going on two wheels over that section, which is always annoying. Coming into this tight tunnel bit, which is quite easy to hit that barrier actually, if you, don't, if you go too close to the inside of the corner. And again, we're still underground at this point. Taking that corner quite nicely, just skimming the wall, trying not to get stuck on it. Um, so we're not too far behind the Stingray now, coming into the last corner before the second lap. So right on its tail now, just over half a second behind. Coming back into this sweeping right-hand corner. We've got to cut left over this bridge. Still just about the same distance behind. But we are um, leaving the other cars for dust now. And we're going to this uh, double left-hand corner and we're right behind him now. Trying to overtake him in any way we can without spinning him or spinning ourselves out. So I'm in his draft, but try not to get trapped against the wall. And usually this is um, very, very difficult for the street race, but I managed to get past him there, and I might have squeezed him into um, the, the side of the barrier there, which slowed him up. So on the second lap, we are in first, uh, leaving us a lot of the race to try and defend. Um, but yeah, I have... Um, in previous playthroughs of this game, this race has always been very, very difficult. Um, but as soon as I got ahead in this one, um, it seemed to be quite easy. The, the cars never caught up, and I'm not sure whether that's because that Stingray crashed or something. But um, if you look on the mini map there, I think they may have crashed there because there was uh, quite a delay in the little um, icons moving. So um, if we get to the next checkpoint, let's actually just hit the wall there. Get to the next uh, checkpoint, which I think is actually the start line, just to see how far behind they are. As I'm now not driving very well, as I keep looking behind me to see where they are. Um, I'll see them cross the line, see how far. So it's five seconds, so they must have crashed, because there's no way I gained four seconds in like a third of the length of the track. Um, so, third lap now, so it's just really just a, a chill out session from now on of just driving normally, not trying to push the car too hard. Although it is 4.9 seconds behind now, so it did catch a little bit on that section. But I guess if you're this far ahead, if you really wanted to, you could just focus on sliding around some corners, um, trying to get as much kudos as you can, and that is um, how you're supposed to take that corner. Did a little bit better, went a bit wider. Um, cut on the inside, leaving us plenty of speed going onto the straight. Yeah, but from now on, on this race, um, 
Just going to keep increasing the lead. 5.8 seconds there. Taking that corner very nicely. Getting a good line. And yeah, it's just, just a waiting game. And then we'll unlock the next series after we do complete this race. Uh, and this is my favourite part of the game. It's when you start driving the really decent cars in the game. Uh, the likes of supercars. Uh, and yeah, I think some of them may be classed as hypercars further on. I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, but yeah, from this point on, we start getting really fast cars. So it's pretty cool. And there's, um, apart from the track special series, most of the other series have got a more level playing field. There's no like outright best car um, or at least it's a little bit closer there may be a best car but it's you know it's not like uh, miles ahead of the other cars like kind of like this series more like the SUV series and that sort of thing um, but yeah I was excited to get into the next series I was excited to get this series behind me uh, the American Muscle because it is uh, I don't really enjoy this one too much just because I don't like the the bad handling all the cars have, even though they're very quick in a straight line, they're just, yeah, very power slidey. But I think we moved 7.7 .7 seconds ahead there, so it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Considering it's the hardest difficulty, um, the other cars should not be that far behind, really. Um, yeah, 7 seconds is a bit mental. It's a bit like those um, overtakes that I did in the uh, the series before. So it's nine seconds now, so it's just getting even more ridiculous. Um, but some of the overtakes, when you had like a minute left, um, uh, you know, a minute left and I overtook the last car, so like, how is that really, how is that any different to a timed run where, you know, you've got or a, or a hot lap, you've got to do the lap as quick as you can, and um, you know, you may complete it by half a second to a second, Surely they use the same sort of algorithm or factor in. I mean, you've got to overtake other cars, fair enough, slow cars, but it's not really going to add that much time to to your time. Um, so yeah, there's not really been that many difficult overtakes. Um, but yeah, I was surprised at this street race. Um, had more difficult street races in this game. There's a couple in Washington, I think, that were more difficult than this one. But we are finally on the last lap. It's a long race. I think it's about seven minutes, maybe eight minutes to race. Five laps, and I think each lap's about a minute and a half or just slightly over. And the car's 11.5 seconds now. See, what I think happened was, I think the Stingray crashed. Um, and then one of the not-as-good cars became, uh, well, went into second place. It might have been a Mustang, um, not the um, not the Cobra, but the Fastback. I'll have to see when it finishes which car it was, but um, there must be a reason why this is so easy. You can see on the minimap, they are absolutely miles behind. 12.6 seconds now. Coming into this tunnel bit again, getting a bit of slowdown going into there. Even though I did fix my um, capture card glitching issue, there is still a little bit of frame slowdown in the game when you're driving. Uh, but I can't get rid of that, I'm afraid. That's just running on the 360. It's going to have that. But overall, the gameplay is a lot smoother, so I'm quite happy. As we come into the final corner, you get about 1 minute 35 each lap. And yeah, 3,000... Um, 3,344 kudos for the in-game race, so that's quite nice. Yeah, it was the Mustang Fastback, then a Cobra, then a Camaro, and then the Stingray, so it definitely did crash quite badly. 13.7 seconds behind in the end, so miles behind. 8,300 kudos, and we have unlocked the Supercar Series. So, as you can see, we've done quite a lot of the series now. I think, how many have we got left? Five series left, including this supercar series, which we've just unlocked. So we've got a timed run, an overtake, and a one-on-one -on -one to do in this episode. So let's have a look at the cars in this class. So we've got the Ferrari 355 F1, um, which is a pretty decent car, not too bad. And the 360 Spider, which is a convertible. Um, and they're both, you know, they're both not bad cars. 
Um, every car in this class is pretty decent. There's no like stinkers. And the 360 Modeno, Modena even, 360 Modena is the same as the Spider. Obviously, it's not convertible, so it is just a bit quicker. But the three Ferraris in this class are on the weaker side compared to uh, the rest of this class. Uh, the class. We've got the Porsche 911 Turbo, which uh, is like the other 911s in this game, actually, or the other Porsches. It's just ridiculously stable to drive, and it's very easy to drive fast. But it is on the slightly weaker side of acceleration, but it is a very good car to use. Uh, the Corvette Z06 is better at acceleration, um, and it doesn't handle too badly. Um, it is a little bit unstable, though, in the corners. But overall, it's not a bad car. It's quite decent to use in this, this series. Decent top speed as well. Um, we've got the Dodge Viper, which um, is kind of similar to the Corvette. However, it's got a lot worse handling. Um, it's a, it feels like a bit of a boat to drive, but it is very quick. It's probably in the top two or maybe top three in acceleration in this class. And probably the best top speed in the class. So it's pretty decent. But uh, the TVR Tuscan is the second best car in the class. Um, it handles very well, um, it power slides a little bit but it's controllable, it's got very good acceleration, pretty good top speed. So um, yeah, that's probably the one we're going to use because this Delfino Feroz, or Feroz, however you pronounce that, um, isn't available. You have to complete the series um, on steel difficulty or higher to unlock this, which obviously isn't hard, but we haven't done that yet. Um, this is a, the first playthrough on Platinum, so... But yeah, if you do have this car, this is the best car in the class. It's just got crazy acceleration, um, but it doesn't handle very well. It's got pretty bad understeer and pretty terrible brakes, but it's just so quick that, um, yeah, that is the best car to use. But we can't use that, so we are going to use the TVR Tuscan, which is the next best car, uh, next best all-round car, I'd say, to use. So we're jumping into a timed run which is six laps on this fairly small track. Um, yeah, so this is a little bit hard actually to to um, get all these laps um, spot on really. It's a bit monotonous going around this track six times, but yeah, 22.7. So I think if you get around 23 seconds each lap or aim for 23, I think you should just about be all right. So we've got 22.7 for the first one. Coming round that corner there, and I think a little bit slower for this one. Yeah, 22.9. But you're going to get around that if you're driving this car. There's only a couple corners where you've got to full on brake. And then um, there's like two, there's this one here and the other one on the opposite side, which is sort of ones you can just lay off the throttle. And you've got two of these ones where you have to brake and slide in to the, uh, the inside of the corner and that was a 22.7 again so we're doing alright here and these right hand tyres are going to get a lot of wear with this track, just left hand bends lap 4 out of 6 again just easing off the throttle around here into this braking section going on two wheels I think that was exactly the same time 22.7 Eight, three was the previous lap, but it looks like that first one's going to be our best lap, unless um, we can top that in the next two laps. Coming into this corner before the start again, 22.9, so that was a little bit slower that one, and if I remember actually on this lap I do mess up one of the corners, it's always the last lap isn't it? I think it may have been this one. I think I turned in too soon. Yeah. Lap, uh, laps of concentration there. So hitting, hitting the um, the barrier, losing our clean race, and having a slower lap. But nevertheless, I think we did that by two seconds. Two seconds and something. So that's not too bad. It's a very small track. Yep, yeah, two point two, uh, two point six seconds. It's a very small track that one, so it's not too bad at all. And we are jumping into an overtake, and um, yeah, so this is seven cars for two in two minutes fifty-five. And I was saying how easy the overtakes were, uh, and this is the first time that it's actually been pretty difficult. So 
they've obviously stepped it up the, the difficulty for the overtakes so this one was actually quite hard but you can overtake this car round the outside to get back into the racing line for this bit break early here so you can get close to the barrier there getting into this tight little uh, corridor bit I did hit the wall there which wasn't very good but we're going to go on the inside of this Camaro on that corner going on two wheels but getting the overtake in Round this corner, over the bridge, chasing down this other car. So we've done two cars so far. It's a Pontiac, isn't it? Pontiac GTO. Going on two wheels, but just managing to turn in before we rear-end that car. Coming up behind the, the Trans AM. Over, going to overtake this at the same point as the first car just get round it and then uh, get back into the racing line. Breaking early again here, trying to get as tight to that barrier as possible, really minimising that distance around the corner. Doing this corner better this time, not hitting the wall. So we've got four cars down, three more to go, and you can see on the minimap how far that first car is ahead, so it really is, um, I think it was one less car on hard for the same amount of time, so um, that just shows the the difference in difficulty between hard and platinum and I see that was one of the things that was complained about a lot on PGR the jump from hard to platinum was just massive it, like, hard was fairly easy on most things uh, and then to platinum which is crazy hard you know you had to put in a lot of practice and then underneath medium which was pointless underneath silver like bronze and steel were just pointless difficulties but we took that a little bit too wide there and then uh, power slid into that barrier. Yeah, so it is a, a little bit um, power slidey this car, but usually you can control it. You know, it's not as bad as the Corvette Stingray, that sort of thing. And it's pretty nimble, really, around the uh, around the circuits. So we are chasing down this last car. We've got 30 seconds to catch it up. But this car, yeah, I do like driving this. The TVRs in this game are... Um, very very good. You got the speed 12 as well which you unlock when you complete everything on platinum. We've obviously driven the TVR tomorrow which is the best in this class and then we've got the speed 6 here which is also one of the best in this class so yes they're very good. So we've got five seconds left to overtake the Stingray and we just cut it on the inside, block him off before power sliding into the barrier in the same place. But that was close that one. It was in the last five seconds we overtook that, that uh, Stingray. But nevertheless, we have completed that, so we've got one more event for this um, episode, which is a one-on-one. -on -one. And this is actually um, quite a difficult race. So this is in Florence, and we are up against the Dodge Viper, which I don't personally like driving. Um, it's very quick in a straight line, but it, does, it just feels too much like a boat when you're driving it. It's just not nimble, the turning's not very good. Saying that though, the AI do drive this car very well. Um, but we're right behind him on this straight bit so I let him go to the outside so I can outbreak him and go on the inside just to block him off however he does come up on the inside so he got a better exit of that corner so I break early let him dart on the inside and do the old switcheroo so I can overtake him there and then he pushes <laughs> pushes me in the in the bum there making me go too far into the barrier and we're still neck and neck at this point and I think the dodge in a straight line is faster than TVR but we should have them on the corners but this is neck and neck at this point so he goes on two wheels there as you saw which slowed him down a little bit which allowed us to overtake him and this is my nemesis corner coming up again I can never get this corner right I think you meant to break early and then just try and get, gather as much speed as you can through that section without hitting the barrier. But the AI always take that corner very well, so they always make time on me at that point. But we are ahead on the second lap, so we've got to try and defend our lead. Not cutting um, as close to the inside of the corner this time, just following that racing line. But he is sticking right with us. It's very um, challenging this one. One of the hardest one-on-ones so far. 
And like I said, it's much more level playing field and I've no idea what I was doing there. Just daydreaming. Drove straight into the barrier. But yeah, it's a lot more of a level playing field than this one. Even the worst cars, like some of the Ferraris, um, are definitely not snow, uh, slow by any means. A little check where he is. He's a little bit further behind. But we're coming up to this corner where he's probably going to make some ground. So I'll try and break. You need to go as close to that apex as possible without hitting um, that barrier on the right hand side on the way out. So he's 0.9 of a second behind. So we've just got to maintain this lead. Coming into this harsh breaking corner here. Where he decides to full on torpedo himself into me there. Which was a little bit rude. So we've got to get our own back on him there. So I use him as the corner a little bit there. And then block off his path by going as close to the apex as possible. But that was a very aggressive move by the AI there. Still ahead, but then I hit, the, <laughs> hit two sides of the barrier. Slowing us right down, but luckily he didn't overtake. He just hit us uh, on the bumper, on the rear bumper. So we're coming in to this last corner, and he has slowed up quite a bit. So even if I mess this corner up, I should be all right. So he's not doing that particularly well at all. So he is gaining, but we just about managed to complete that race. But yeah, that is not easy, that one-on-one. -on -one. It's probably one of the hardest ones I've done. But nevertheless, we've got that platinum medal for doing it. 6,344 kudos. And that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So, in the next episode, we'll be doing a speed camera, a street race, and a couple hot laps. And then that just leaves all the rest of the races you see there. So, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.